Hi friends, welcome to another episode of Stardew Valley here on Kiyoshi Farm. I have some things to show you. I need to turn up the music first of all because uh, whenever I was playing off the episode I was listening to my own music so I didn't have the Stardew Valley music up. But now, now here we go, it's back. So I've done a little spring cleaning slash reorganizing on the farm. And I'm really excited to show it to you. It, it, there aren't a ton of huge changes. It's like a bunch of small changes. I cleared out a lot of trees. I got rid of my uh, instant grow trees mod, which just grew trees automatically overnight. If there was a seed planted and it had the room to grow, then it would automatically grow. And that just caused too many trees, too many trees to be around the farm. So I cleared a lot of those out and added some flowers, added some grass, uh, just rearranged a couple of things, and let's, let's just, let's just go look. Let's go look. Oh, here we are. All right, so I have added a fence around our crops because, half because, well, it looks nice, and also because things were encroaching on our space. Things like wood and stones. Uh, I think I lost, yeah, I just lost one crop right here. I ended up putting this sprinkler there just to put it there and it helped me out with watering, but I'll, I'll put the sprinkler in an actual better place once the, there's room for it. So, oh, this is the first time we've harvested garlic and got a few gold star and a few silver star and then parsnips as well. Uh, you can see I also expanded the crop space down a bit uh, so to give us room for new crops let's see who our letters from this letter was here like two days ago and i just haven't read it yet so let's see hello friend the mountain lake has been kind to me lately i'd like to share my good fortune with you oh linus got us a maki roll how nice linus is i think that's like the second thing he sent us and now we have a quest. I'm really craving f a fresh apricot. I haven't been able to find one at the store, so I'm asking you. Oh, I think I have one of those. I think I have an apricot. Let me see. Let me just see if I do. I don't remember if it's in crops or probably in foraged. Oh no, I don't have one. Is it an overflow, maybe? <gasps> yes, it is an overflow. Looky there. There's an apricot. Beautiful. Lovely. Love it. Thank you so much game. Oh, I need to make a new chest to put our new crops in. I'll do that soon. Okay, so let's go ahead and water all of our crops that we need to, and then I'll show you the other changes I've made on the farm. So I tried to- oh, I've got our butterfly mod back. Our butterflies are now the retextured butterflies, the Emi. Um, Emi? Emi? I'm, I'm not quite sure what her name is, um, how to pronounce her name, but got those back. Oh, now that I added the fence, I can't water these beanstalks in a row, except for from down here, but that's okay. I did try to install a mod that made grass grow, um, like it replaced all of the dirt with just the grass terrain, you know, like there's grass up here. But whenever I tried to install that mod, it changed the grass color back to the regular bright green, you know, vanilla, um, unmodded grass. And I just do not like that grass at all. It's too bright. It is not my aesthetic whatsoever. So I just changed the mod back to where there's still dirt on the farm. And I, like, am... <sighs> Um, I'm not going to do it, but I like almost want to start a whole new farm and get the forest. Far Sorry, I got to pause while I'm talking. Um, and get the forest farm layout because that has a lot more grass around the farm uh, and less dirt. Because the dirt is just, it just doesn't look great unless there's a lot of stuff on top of it, which is what I've tried to do. You can kind of see to the left of the farm there. I've tried to put more stuff on it so it looks a little bit better. But if any of you know how I can have both my map recolor mod so that the grass is a pretty color and the mod where uh, it changes all the dirt to grass, if you know how I can have those at the same time, I would be super grateful uh, if you would let me know how to do that. Um, but no worries if, if you don't know, just putting that out there in case there are any mod ex experts in the, in the viewers right now. So here is, oh, this looks so nice, the rest of the farm. Um, 
I've added a lot of grass around here as you can see. I'm not super sold on having all of this tall grass around the farm, especially up here. I just don't know. And I've added a ton of these flowers. These flowers uh, come with the Macri color mod that I have. They're just replacements for uh, house plants. So if I go to my item spawner and just, okay, type in plant, it brings up all of these, uh, all these flowers that came with the Macri color mod. And I completely forgot about them. Completely forgot that I had them. So I just have to use the item spawner to get them. Um, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight uh, modded flowers you can use each season. And for this mod, the flowers change each season. And winter, I think they're the default uh, house plants. I think they're like, there's like some cacti, there's some bigger plants, there's, it's a, there's a mix of things. But they look really, really nice around the farm, I think. There's these pink roses, which I really, really like. And these white ones, I really, I mean, I like all of them, but I think the pink roses and uh, these whiter ones are my favorites so far. And then over here, I added our uh, craft table area, which I'm going to expand eventually because I do need to make some more like mayo machines and preserves jars and other cheese press. Cheese press, is that, is that what it's called? I think so. Uh, I just need to make duplicates craft more of a lot of these things but I'm still just a little bit still kind of early on but I love the flowers and the grass that I added in here I'm so happy with the way that this this turned out I added some flowers in front of the uh, almost called it the community center in front of the greenhouse which let's actually see if um, yeah we can go ahead and harvest what we've got in here beets got all these beets are ready to go I'm sure they've been ready for a couple of days at this point and there's okay there we go corn and i'm just gonna go ahead and collect this sunflower can, can, can i oh my inventory's full that's why <laughs> let's do some organizing i guess i'll put the monkey roll and overflow where do i have my excess seeds at um yeah, okay, I'll just put I'll just put the sunflower seeds in here into resources. And go ahead and put all this stuff in here. Uh, I took cheese out of my pockets because cheese gives you a lot of energy and I needed that while I was redoing the farm. Oh, and by the way, I know I said I was going to do a video of like redesigning the farm and just do it, you know, really sped up like a speed build sort of deal, speed redesign, but it just wouldn't have been, I did record it, but it wouldn't have been interesting. I was doing so much pausing and looking at photos for inspiration and looking up other mods that I might want to install. And it would have taken too long to edit for it to have been an actual enjoyable video to watch because there was so much stuff I would have had to have cut out because I was just doing a bunch of pausing and half of it was just chopping down trees too, which isn't something super interesting to watch on its own. So sorry that I didn't end up doing the speed redesign video for you all, but you're getting to see the fruits of my labor now. And like I said, the changes aren't huge, but they are something. <laughs> I think I'll, oh yeah, I need to sell some of this mayo for sure. And I'll sell these two duck mayos that I have down here. Um, I don't know if I need to keep this sunflower for whatever reason. Maybe somebody will ask for one, so I might as well, I guess. I'll put it in overflow right now, too. Yeah, I need to make... I should just use my kitchen. Can I use my kitchen chest as a chest? Maybe it doesn't show up on my access chest anywhere mod. But I know my refrigerator can be used as a chest. Huh. Because, like I said, I need, I need more room for my crops, clearly. Let me get some blueberries out to put in the preserves jar. And... What else? Do I need to save... I'll save some of these gold star quality parsnips because I'm sure I'm going to need them. I'll go ahead and put that parsnip in there. And then... Go ahead and put these in overflow for now. I'll, I'll make I'll make a new chest here soon. 
Yeah, and I need to keep, I'll keep several beets. I'll sell, I'll sell some of them. The apricot is for, apri is it apricot or apricot? How do you pronounce it? Weigh in. Everybody weigh in. I'm going to take this quality sprinkler with me so we can put it back out here. Oh, I just, I love the way it looks. I love all the flowers. I need to redo how my trees are laid out. Like, I don't like that it's just all pink trees right here. And then, you know, just a line of all white trees right here. I really want it to be a good mix of different types of trees. So I'll do that eventually. Um, slow, slow changes, gradual changes happening on the farm. It's hard to really redo a lot at one time in Stardew Valley since you do have to like maintain your crops and take care of your animals and pay attention to you know the day passing by. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure I'm. <laughs> selling the right things that I don't don't need any of it but I think I'm good so I'm gonna go ahead and put this quality sprinkler over here it's not you know perfectly centered or anything but it'll get the job done and yes I do have my sprinklers modded so that they cover much more ground than normal Ugh. so this is gonna this sprinkler is gonna get everything except the beanstalks actually yeah, I mean, it's going to be the same either way. Okay. Now, see, I'm going to put this sprinkler over here so that I don't have to water. Are these even called bean salts? I can't even remember what crop that is at this point. Because this should be able to get... Yeah, just all but that row. And then the quality sprinkler should be able to get, yeah, everything. Oh, okay, cool. It overlaps, so that will get those crops as well. Awesome. Now I don't need to water any of them. <laughs> Feels good. Yeah, like standing right here on the farm just looks so pretty and so picturesque. I need to do something else over here, like get some more flowers put up there maybe. And of course I added grass. Oh yeah, I just need to open the door and let the chickens out. So now they can come out here and eat the grass. And I also expanded the fence uh, so that the fence comes out a lot, a lot wider. They have some more room to roam around. And there are a lot of eggs in here because I did not collect all the eggs that... Er, oh no! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I didn't collect all the eggs uh, the days that I was redesigning because I really wanted to... No! Really wanted to have as much time as possible to work on the farm. And I spent several days doing it. As you can see, it is now day... Um, Day six of spring, so I spent day three, four, and five doing work on the farm. I'm gonna go ahead and put the hay out here because I don't, I mean, I feel like they'll eat all the grass outside, but I wanna make sure they have hay in here as well. And I just think it looks so nice having them roam out here. Oh my god, I'm just trying to close the gate. There we go. Well, let's put stuff in the craft tables here. I also think I'm going to install a fence mod. I've been looking for a good fence mod. I can't find a good mod that replaces the wood fence with something that I like even more. Um, I found a good one for the stone fence. It makes it look like kind of a more gothic like cemetery type fence, the stone fence, but I haven't found a nice one for the wood fence. And I, I really like the feel of the wood fence. I just wish it looked just a little bit better. I just need it to look a little bit better. Oh, let's open the barn door for the cow, deer cows, deer cows to come out here. I haven't milked them in a couple days uh, either since, like I said, I was trying to, whoops, didn't mean to do that since I was trying to be speedy with my redesign. Okay, that's, was that three? And then, yeah, four. Cool. I'm not going to bother putting putting hay in there. I don't need to go in there to collect anything else. Uh, 
Um, tomorrow we're gonna go to Marnie and try to buy a goat since our barn is expanded now. That failed last episode because we got to Marnie too late one day and then Marnie just completely wasn't at her house at all the other day, which was pretty unfortunate. I'm also debating what to do like right here in between uh, the crop area and the craft tables area. Maybe I'll just leave it as kind of like a natural forest. Maybe I'll make it a field of flowers. Maybe I will. Oh, I should do some trees. I should do trees with tappers right here because I removed my tappers from the trees that I had them on down here because I wanted to put them somewhere else. Uh, and this would be a good spot for that. Maybe just a couple of trees with the tappers on them with those kind of like wood pat modded wood paths you know around them and then some really pretty flowers hmm maybe we'll do that tomorrow after we buy our goats yep 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 that could be good okay let's start oh look our mayo has been made let's collect that nope don't drink the milk nope don't drink the milk there we go. Okay, let's just go and sell some things now. And okay, I did give my pets water. So that's good. And I think that my crops are safe like this. I don't think the fence has to be like 100% closed off. Like since there's a path right here and there's scarecrows, you know, in these spaces, I think I think it's safe from anything encroaching upon them. Alright, we'll go ahead and sell yeah, the milk, the mayo. Oh, we need to take Emily the apricot. We'll do... We can do that tomorrow morning, I'd say. I'll keep some of these eggs in here. I just have too... I get too many eggs and then I can't make... I just don't have enough mayo machines or I don't go to the mayo machines enough to actually use all the eggs that we get. Yeah, see here are the two tappers that I removed. Um, I'll go ahead and... Yeah, I mean we should go ahead and plant these seeds that we have. Do that real quick before the evening requires us to go inside. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'll hold on to the last, how many did it take? Six days to mature? It takes four days to mature. Okay, I'll go ahead and plant these, plant these taters. Nope, facing the wrong way, friend. Wrong way. Uh, I don't know if, okay, yeah, that place, that space was watered. And now everything's watered. Awesome. And... Oh, I mean, duh, I could plant. It's not going to be like super even looking, but go ahead and plant all the seeds we have. Why not? A couple little, little extras. I mean, I guess I could go ahead and go to the saloon and give Emily the apricot right now. I could... <clears throat> Debated going back to get Appa, my horse, because he could get me there a lot faster than I could walk, but... It's just to town. It's okay. We'll make it. I don't know what time the saloon closes. Does it close at a... Oh, it's open till 12 a.m. Okay, we're good. We're Gucci. We can we can get there and give Emily her apricot. Apricot. Potato, potato. Complete that quest. Oh, I love the pretty cherry blossom petals floating through the air. This was for Emily, right? Let me just make sure. Yes. <laughs> I had to make sure it was for her before giving it to her. Here you go, ma'am. Oh, you followed through. Thanks, this looks delicious. You are so welcome, Emily. And we get 600 gold. 600 gold for our troubles. There you go. Let's go ahead and talk to people while we're in here. I like making my own clothes, but it's not easy to get cloth. And it's such a long trip to the city. To the city? I want to go to the city. Do you think we can go to the city? Like, maybe in an update? I feel like I would have heard if you could go to the city in Stardew Valley. Yeah, I, don't, I haven't heard that. <laughs> Maybe in an update, though, there's supposed to be a big new Stardew Valley update coming that includes the multiplayer update and that new boat uh, down by the docks and uh, 
Uh, there's like a new winter event that I think is coming in the update. Lots of stuff. Oh, let's talk to Kent. We haven't, I haven't got to interact with him at all. I missed his birthday because I was redesigning the farm on his birthday. Jokey tells me you've really become a part of this community. I'm glad to hear it. I always see Clint here, but he won't talk to anyone. He just glances over his shoulder now and then. I mean, that's okay. Just let him be. Let him, let him be. Nothing's better than King Man calling on a resident fish. Okay, I've heard him say that about a million and five times now. Sometimes I wonder how I ended up in this town. Oh, hold on. We gotta talk to Shane. We gotta talk to our boy Shane before we go. I just... What? Did you see that? There was a speech bubble and, like, I clicked to talk to him, but then it wouldn't let me talk to him. I feel like that happened before. Did that happen with someone else? Yeah, I really feel like that happened with someone else. Oh, we're so close. I just looked up at my XP bars. We're so close to leveling up uh, in farming. Maybe tomorrow we'll get to level up in, in farming. What a quiet night. I also need to get some, yeah, I removed those uh, torches from my crop area here. Let me fill up my watering can. I removed those torches, so now I don't have any light on my farm at all, except for just the ring that I'm wearing. I want to add some street lights, but I think I need to actually unlock that in order to craft them. And I think... No, I was gonna say I think the mod that I have installed might retexture the street lights, but I don't think so. I think that's a separate mod that I haven't installed yet. Let's go to sleep for the night, see how much money we earned. Oh wow, 5,000. Awesome. Yeah, we sold, what, some mayo, some garlic? Does it, oh yeah, it does show everything. Okay, we sold quite a bit of mayo, quite a bit of crops some milk. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, yeah, we sold quite a bit of stuff. Awesome. Good haul. Day seven. First week coming to a close. I should add some of those flowers to my house. Now that I know, yeah, I just completely forgot that they were there. These are pretty too. This, like, that grows on a on a trellis. See how they look inside the house. Maybe they'll look to, you know, like they belong outside. I don't know. I feel like that looks nice. And then maybe... Yeah, maybe I could... I'll, I'll keep those there for now. Maybe I'll scatter them around soon. But I love the way the flowers look on the farm. I forgot to close. <laughs> forgot to close the doors again. I think someone was asking what the consequence of not closing the door is for your animals. And I think it just deteriorates their friendship level or compassion or happiness level or whatever it is called. Um, if you do it too often. But I don't think it's a bad thing to do it every once in a while. And I'm sure that if you're, like, petting them and interacting with them enough, then it won't affect their friendship level too much either. Somebody else that knows more about leaving the doors open and friendship levels and, and stuff like that. Weigh in. Give your, give your thoughts. Shed your knowledge upon us. Okay, yeah, sorry. I'm thinking about... Think thinking about that area right there. Let's go milk these cows. Milk these deer cows. And then we'll go to Marnie to get a goat. She better be there. I swear to God, Marnie better be at her house right now. Okay, she is. Does it say? Okay, yeah. Open 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. quote, most days. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and just head down there, just to be safe. I can't wait to clear out more of the farm and add more, more little nooks and cute areas to Kiyoshi Farm. It's just exciting thinking about it all. Yay! Here, 
She is. Um, okay, no, I'm trying to milk Marnie's desk. Purchase animals. Yes, please. The goat, which our goats are. No, the goats are um, actual goats, but they don't look like this. Our goats look black because of the mod that I have, but my sheep, whenever we get sheep, uh, they will look like alpacas and they're super, super adorable. Okay, goats cost 4,000 gold. I have plenty of money to get some goats. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and... I mean, I might as well get four of them? Maybe I'll get two of them for right now. I'll get two. Oh, what should we even name the goats? I always have- I always forget about naming them. Medi. This goat is going to be Medi after one of my viewers slash friends here. Why not? Yeah, it's- <laughs> Medi is a guy- I don't even care about making sure that the animals' genders line up with who they're named after anymore because- you just- you can barely- you don't even know what the animals' genders are when you're interacting with them, except for the ones that get pregnant. But you can control whether or not they can get pregnant or not. I just want to name animals after a lot of you guys, so... I'm not gonna take that into consideration. About the genders. And... yes, here we go. Um... Who else needs somebody named after them? Let me think. Okay, I'm naming this goat Trent, and I also- I went to look at the comment section of my last uh, Stardew Valley video, so I'm naming this goat after Trent, and Trent also reminded me that I need to make crab pots. Uh, I always forget to make crab pots. That's something that I've had unlocked for a while, and I know that they're very beneficial, so let me do that here in just a second. Yeah, I don't need- Okay, yeah, this is just for sheep, so I don't need anything else, and I'm definitely good on hay. So let's head back to our... Well, should we head back to the barn, or should I craft the crab pots and put them in the ocean? Let me see what I need to craft the crab pots. I should also make another tapper or two. That would be good. Uh, okay, crab pot. 40 wood and 3 iron bars. Okay, I think I have... Awesome, I have enough for two crab pots right now, and then I can go ahead and start smelting some more iron bars to make more. Let's get that wood out to do that. And... Anything else? No, okay, that's all I need for right now. So, crafting crab pots. Cool. There's two. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and walk to the ocean. Now that I have a horse, I feel so strange about going anywhere without my horse because it's just the optimal way to travel, but whatever. We can walk slowly and take everything in. Hi, Penny. Um, there we go. The weather's interesting today, don't you think? Sorry. Penny, please. I feel like she said that to me before. Yeah, I'm kind of getting a little tired of the repetitive, uh... Quotes, interactions, I guess. I don't know where I should... Just right here? Should I put them at different places, like different depths of the ocean? Like, should I put one crab pod in the shallows right here and another out in deeper water? I don't know. This is my look up anything mod. Place it in the water, load it with bait. Oh, I need to put bait in it. And check the next day to see if you've caught anything. Works in streams, lakes, and the ocean. Okay, let me get some... Oh, I don't know if I have any bait. I think all of my bait is on my fishing rod already. But I can craft some, right? Right? Can I craft bait? Is that something? Yes. I just need bug meat. Do I have bug meat? <laughs> yes. I have much bug meat. 
this has been good. Like, everything that I've needed to craft, we have, uh, we have enough items to actually craft it. It's awesome. Um, how do, okay, there we go. Can I put any more in there? No, just the one. Awesome. Crab pots are all baited and ready to go. Now let's head back to the farm and do a little bit of work. Maybe we'll talk to a couple people on the way, but I definitely want to make that tapper, tr tree tapper area that I was talking about. We can play around with that and try to make it look really nice. My sister is so weird. Sometimes if I, I wonder if we're actually related. That second screen, that second prompt was blank. I wonder if that was a glitch, if that was supposed to happen. Or if it was supposed to be blank. Normally it'll at least say like dot 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 or something if they're meant to not be saying something. I don't know. Oh, we gotta go see our goats too. Okay, let's go see our goats first. Yeah, I cleared a lot of trees from right here. This place was just like overloaded with trees. Oh my God, there are goaties. Our little black goats, hello. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, okay, this is Medi. I was like, wait, why does that say Dana? Dana's a, a deer. Medi seems curious, but a little cautious. It's a strange new world. Nope, that clicked on the deer again. Trent also seems curious, but cautious. Oh, I'm so happy. Got our deer and goats all, all together now. Awesome. Oh. Well, I guess I should go ahead and pet them all. I fell out of the habit of petting them. Okay, I guess I did those. While I was, okay, I guess I pet all of them, whatever. While I was reorganizing the farm since I was trying to do it. So speedy, so nice and speedy. Oh my God, we have honey for the first time. I'm so excited. First time uh, our, what is this even called? Bee house? Yeah, our bee house has produced honey. So it, okay, it just produces honey every like four days, basically, except in winter. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, I might, there are just so many things I wanna do. I wanna have more bee houses and have like a special little area for them. So much stuff, so much stuff in the future for us. Let me put the eggs up there so I can make it into mayo and then put the milk up here so I can make that. I guess I will really only needed one up here. Make it into cheese. I want to look at the craft tables really quick and see how much... Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make that other chest since I already have the wood in my pockets. I need to make that for more crops and... Okay, yeah, mayo machines do take an earth crystal that's like... The one thing that's hard to get that's part of that. Okay, I could definitely make another cheese press. Oh, I should make another cheese press. Yeah, I should. Let's do that. Let me set this chest right here for right now. Go ahead and take that plant up and... What did I need to get out? I needed to get out hardwood. And... I feel like this is everything that it needed. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and toss this house plant since it's something I used from the item spawner. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. One more cheese press ready to go. Well, I could definitely make another preserves jar if I wanted to. It just takes wood, stone, and coal. Oh, I do need to get these iron ore started so I can make more crab pots. There we go, get that started. And what am I doing? Iron ore. Smelt that iron, thank you. Right, now we have plenty of time to work on this area for us. I do need to move the bee house. Um, we'll just set it. I feel like I don't want to set it beside the lightning rod. I'm sure it wouldn't do anything bad, but 
Still sounds like a bad idea to set the bee house beside the lightning rod. So now I need to clear out all of this grass that I put here to make room for our new tree tapper area. Definitely gonna have to cut down a bunch of these trees. I'll keep a couple of the ones kind of on the perimeter, maybe. And then I'll have to plant new seeds in order to get the new trees to grow. Oh yeah, I need to move these chests as well. Okay, let's... Um, oh, I don't have to... I don't have to do that. Stop it. There we go. I have a mod where I can just pick up chests even if they still have stuff in them. I just have to right click on them, but I can't have anything equipped while I do it. There we go. Okay. Iron bars are done. Let's get a couple more started here. Perfect. <laughs> Love hearing the Hearing the ducks quack and the cows moo. It feels very strange to hear the cows moo, as always, since they are deer and not cows, but... Oh, I'm out of space in my pockets. I need to clear some space so that I can actually pick up those seeds there. Yeah, I guess I should go ahead and chop this one down too. And th nope, and this one. And this one. This will be the last one I chop down. Well, and this teensy tiny one here. This little baby one. Go ahead and put all of my resources back up. Don't need those anymore. Oh, those can go in... Oh no, it- I forgot it gets rid of the- gets rid of the name of the chest whenever I do that. So chest two is foraged. There we go. Anything else that needs to go in there? No. Oh, the bait I can put in fishy stuff. Some of this go back in resources, put those in there. Oh, I need to put the honey in goods. I need to keep the first honey that I make. I'll sell some eventually, but since that's just the first one that we've made, wanna keep it handy in case we need it. Get rid of these. Right, I think that's all we need to get rid of. Okay, cool. So I want to have three trees in this area, so I'm going to try to mark where I want the trees to go. And then I want, like, a little border around them as well. So that would give us an area for a border, area for a border there, an area for a border there. Maybe I should- okay, let me scoot them all over just one so that that final tree over here isn't too close to the crops. Okay, I think that, yeah, because there's one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, perfect. Three spaces in between each. And I have seeds for each type of tree. So let's just go ahead and plant that one there. That one there. And, well, wait, can I put a tapper on... An oak tree. Hold on, let me look that up before I plant it here, just to make sure. Okay, it can. No worries. If you put it on an oak tree, it produces uh, oak resin. So we are all set to go there. And let me put excess back in resources and oh wait I do need 
Yeah, gravel paths. Um, so gravel paths are obviously like really ugly by default, but the mod, the path mod that I have installed uh, makes them look really nice and cute. And it makes them look really cool as like borders around things. And if you're wondering what mods I use, I have all the mods uh, that I have installed in this game right now and ones that I've used in the past linked in the description box below. Okay, I need to make uh, one, two, three, six. I need to make eight more of the gravel paths. What do I need? Just stone. So let's get those back out. How many did I say? Eight. I said eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, this is gonna look so nice once those trees are grown so next episode you will see the trees grown because i will reinstall the grow trees overnight mod um so we can go ahead and have these trees ready to go ready to be tapped and i'll go ahead and get another tapper made so we need i just need to get wood back out so now we'll have three tappers. Have those in my pocket, so I'll remind myself that I need to do that. And cool. Once the trees are grown, uh, I'll add some more decorations. Like I'll add maybe some flowers on the sides over here or in between the trees. Maybe I'll add more pathing around it, like different types of stone paths or something. Make it look a little bit more aesthetic because what I'm going for with my farm I do really want it to be organized and easy to navigate everything and easy to you know be productive of course but I also want it to be really pretty and aesthetic and I want it to have a almost overgrown sort of feel to it but like I said still be organized and easy to be productive as well so that's what I'm trying to go for here we are getting there. Okay, let me get some more cheese being made. Some more mayo being made. I need to grab... What do I need to grab? Some goods? Didn't I store... Did I not store excess eggs? Oh, animal products. Duh! I forgot I had a whole animal products chest now so I do have excess stuff cool oh no that's not <laughs> I just wanted to reorganize my pockets whenever I have my chest open sometimes I'll accidentally uh, put stuff away instead of just reordering reorganizing my pockets all right last thing for the night I'm gonna go sell some oh hello gonna go sell some of the goods that I have in my pockets here sell some of this cheese all this mayo let me see if I have anything else I need to sell okay this can be changed whoops to crops uh, this is going to be crops number two and that means I can take some stuff out of overflow to put in crops number two like this and this um, hmm that's more sunflower seeds I have more sunflower seeds somewhere yeah potatoes I need to put in excess crops oh oops to do, 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 to do. And where else did I put those sunflower seeds? Those other sunflower seeds. Resources. Okay, I'll go ahead and put those seeds in with resources. Put the copper bars back in. Oh, wait, I didn't have that in mining, did I? Did I have it in resources? I did I did have it in resources and I'll keep these iron bars or iron and I'll keep the bars on me as well so that'll remind me to craft uh, crab pots next time <laughs> it 
Sorry, I'm the worst. I'm gonna go get some coal uh, started because we're gonna need more coal. So I'm gonna use that machine to make it. And okay, I'm done with organizing stuff for right now. Here. I'm just so much, so much happier with the farm now. Just a little bit more organized, a little bit more aesthetic. Oh, it makes it in 20 minutes. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad at all. We'll come back uh, tomorrow and, and make some more. Oh, I do need, do need to close my doors for my animals. So they're nice and, nice and happy. Wow, that um, was super quick. Okay, so we'll... <laughs> Forgot how quickly 20 minutes passes by in the game. Let's go get some more to be made. Maybe I should open up the bottom of this fence down here too. Hmm, I don't know. It's not like it takes that much effort to walk around to get into this area. And I think it looks better with just one entry point. I think it'll look, look a little bit nicer with just the one. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. This has been so fun. Just It just feels so fresh and new having a little bit uh, more organized of a farm. So I hope you enjoyed seeing it. Oh, we didn't level up in farming. I just glanced at the XP um, before it went away, but that's okay. Let's see how much money we made. 2400 not too shabby. I'm gonna have to buy some new seeds because uh, we've got more room to plant crops now. So definitely gonna have to buy some more seeds next episode. We have quite a bit of money. Maybe I'll go ahead and buy more goats if I get around to it. Maybe we'll wait until the other goats turn into adults so we can have like adult goats and baby goats at the same time. I think that would be cute. And uh, this next episode, we will put the tappers on the trees and make that area nice and, and organized. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you back next Wednesday with another episode of Stardew Valley. You all have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. And don't forget to be awesome. Bye.